Hello YouTube. Today is the beginning of a uh, new build for a JG Photography Studios. Uh, so I went with the Ryzen 3950X. Now I have previously purchased the 3900X, but uh, when I got it, it was not a, this one was not available. So um, I waited a little bit longer and um, I finally was able to uh, get my hands on the 3950X. Alright, so let's unbox it. So today, I'm going to be unboxing um, all the components for this new build. And um, I'm going to share with you guys my experience of building uh, a second PC uh, for the business. So this is pretty much what's on the box. And uh, I believe there's really nothing else. And that's it. All right, let's put this away since we're not gonna use this little case anymore. Now, the information that the company gives you in here is um, sometimes it's useful, but you know, what are you gonna use this for? I don't think you're gonna sit there and read this. So let's put that on the side. And this is what the CPU looks like. Very tiny. So. To the next thing, the next thing we're gonna unbox it's my uh, motherboard, and I went with the Gigabyte uh, Aorus um, Ultra um, gaming motherboard. Um, I use um, Gigabyte before in the past, and that's the reason why I decided to um, get this one too. First, let's see what's inside the box. Some sort of like sticker, I believe. No, I don't know. I think there's a bunch of stickers in here though, so just put that on the side for now. Um, this is the um, manual for installation, the user manual and guide, and a CD-ROM, a little tiny badge if you want to include that into your case. Let's see what else is underneath here. Um, Velcro straps if you want to use them to cable management. What is this? Uh, some additional wiring. You know, SATA port cables. You get two sets. I uh, believe these for an LED um, something wire. You get two of these. Uh, the antenna, which this is actually a Wi Fi motherboard. And this is pretty cool. Uh, Gigabyte uh, includes this. This is for your uh, front connectors. Um, so you don't have to like plug individual wires, which is pretty cool. The uh, N.2 riser. The little tiny screw for the N.2s. You get three of these. Um, another standoff for the SSD. You get three of these. So you got three SSD uh, NVMe drives in this motherboard. Just put this away since we're not going to use this anymore. The next thing it's gonna be uh, the RAM. Now I went with Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro. Uh, this is 64 gigs at 3200 megahertz. Somebody's gonna say, well, why don't you go with a 3600 megahertz? You know, for what I need it, I don't really need 3600 megahertz. It's not even gonna be gaming on this computer anyway. So I mean, 32 is more than plenty for me. So yeah, that's the reason why I got this. 
Let's see what's inside the box. Pretty much just the modules. That's pretty much it. No directions or anything like that. I don't think you need directions to install this. So yeah. Let's put that away. Let's get rid of all this stuff for the motherboard. static um, plastic bag. That's what the motherboard looks like. Let's do the um, satisfying peeling. motherboard has three and that three and that two slots one two and three so let's put the motherboard aside for now now I will be installing all these fans in the case So a total of 10 fans are going in this case. And you'll see the case in a little bit. I'm not gonna unbox it because you know I will do it once it's actually ready to be installed. And this is gonna go onto a Corsair H150i Pro RGB. Let's take this out of the box. guy more pamphlets the um, I guess how to install the radiator all right instructions those are useful let's put that on the side for now now for the cooler itself it comes with three fans but these are not RGBs so the reason why I went ahead and actually got nine RGB fans because again this is not RGB and although it's I'm gonna replace them. So that's the reason why I went with the um, the LL120 uh, RGB fan. So we're gonna put this on the side for now. So we're not gonna use these. Now for the cooler, uh, for the radiator, this is all the hardware that you will use uh, to mount um, your water pump to the motherboard. This is the radiator itself. Let's move the case out of the way.
Now, this particular pump, um, I mean radiator uh, and water pump, comes with uh, thermal paste PFI to the water block. But I think I'm going to be removing that and applying my own thermal paste. Um, this is pretty much all the wires that you will need to connect this to the motherboard. Okay. Let's not forget about the power supply. Now, I went with the Corsair, um, R, um, which I'm call it uh, RN850X uh, power supply. Uh, this one has uh, white cabling, so it's gonna be like a white and black beam that I'm going for this computer built. Some zip ties and the screws that you will need. Manual instructions, important information. The power cord. Don't throw this away. You can use them. And here's the cables. So it's going to be a little nice pouch. And as you can see, they're white. RGB logo on top. Comes with all your regular connectors. HDMI, display port, USB type C. Oh, this is a pretty beefy card though. Very, very nice. Set aside for now. 
Oh, look, it comes with this um, little and sticker you can put on your, on your case if you want to. Very nice. Let's put this back in here. I don't know if I'm going to use that hardware, so I'm going to leave it there just for now. So, these are going to be the components for this new build. For storage, I'm using uh, this one. Um, this is Inland Premium SSD NVMe, uh, two terabytes. Um, I'm not putting a mechanical drive yet inside this build. Um, that's gonna come later on. But I did get an additional uh, one terabyte of SSD um, just for like storage and, and you know other things that I uh, may need. Uh, scratch this when I'm editing videos or something like that. So that's pretty much all the parts that I'm going to be using for the build. Oh, and um, because I'm doing a black and white theme, I'm using these. Um, it's going to look awesome once it's fully done. Anyway, stay tuned for the build.